ship after it had been hit on August the 13th, uh, two days before the end of the war. And this area in here is, uh, up in here is where the radio shack was and uh, it went down into the engine room level, uh, which is the lowest part of that ship uh, as far as the bomb went off. This uh, patch here is the uh, insignia worn by the Navy. There's a similar insignia worn by the Marines, a uh, different color. But we wore this on our left shoulder and it indicated that we were members of the amphibious forces of the United States Navy. And this is uh, the raid I eventually uh, got on March the 1st, 46, before I uh, was discharged. And uh, this is my yeoman's third class rating. Uh, and uh, the dish, this little patch that you could put on above your uh, jer jersey pocket uh, blouse, uh, they were called blouses in the Navy. You put that on after you were discharged, they sewed it on for you. And of course this is a picture that was just taken recently, uh, about a year or two ago, uh, with a, at Christmas time with a gift that my daughter had given me of this book Na of the Navy, uh, Navy ships and so forth. So. That's where I am. This is uh, what I looked like uh, in, gra uh, in boot camp. So uh, that's the story of this little display that we made up to sort of give an idea of what the naval career was all about. I have other tangible uh, items. Uh, for instance, while we were on uh, the island of Aishima, where Ernie Pyle had been killed, uh, we, we spent, uh, of course, the four days there, and part of that time we were exploring, and we followed tanks up to where the actual battles were still going on, and I was, came across a dead Jap officer, uh, and we weren't politically correct. Uh, we used the, <laughs> perhaps the derogatory name now, Jap, uh, but that was common uh, in those days. Uh, it was a Japanese officer and I took off him uh, uh, an ammunition case that he had on his belt and uh, some insignia, uh, which I have here today, uh, the, the ammunition case with the ammunition I uh, sold, gave to someone or sold to someone somewhere along the line. I also got a, a Japanese flag uh, that he was carrying and a letter uh, that was on his person at the time I came across him. It was, <laughs> we were all warned not to touch uh, dead enemy because uh, they could be booby trapped. But we ignored that and then we <laughs> took it. The officer with me took the sword that he had, was carrying. <laughs> He had certain prerogatives I didn't have.